Hello and welcome to the Docklands Property Blog. My name is Spencer Fortag. I'm the author of the blog, which can be found at docklandspropertyblog.com. I can also be emailed spencer at lmlondon.com. At the time of this video, a £10 bet on the good people of the UK voting to leave the EU would yield a profit of around £22, whereas the same bet on staying in would return just £3. For those of you who don't regularly have a flutter, that means the likelihood of Brexit is very slim. But then again, that's what the pollsters and bookies said about a Tory majority in the last election. If we do believe the bookies, it seems the most likely impact of the referendum on the E14 property market will be fairly negligible. There could be some mild economic uncertainty, followed by a return to business as usual. In fact, even this mild uncertainty will come to be seen as nothing compared with the rush to snap up buy-to-let properties and the subsequent flood of properties that we have seen onto the rental market. But what would an outvote mean for the 8,500 homeowners of equal team, or even the landlords of the 12,500 private rented properties? Well, I think it all comes down to how reliant each local market is on buyers who work in the financial services industry. Some commentators claim that in the event of Brexit, the large global banks could pull out of the UK and relocate to somewhere within the EU, most likely Frankfurt. That would result in an exodus of relatively high income workers from the market. And it is these people who have been instrumental in putting upward pressure on house prices since the 1980s. As we all know, people working in financial services are mainly concentrated in the southeast of England, within commuting distance to the city of London and Canary Wharf. There are also provincial outposts in the north of England, particularly in Leeds. In E14, there are 9,341 people working in the financial services, which is equal to almost 25% of all jobs in the area. In the context of the national picture, that puts E14 in the top 1% of all areas in terms of the concentration of financial services jobs. So the bottom line is that in relative terms, E14 is seriously reliant on the financial services industry. Consequently, E14's property market could be very exposed in the event of Brexit. However, there is a broader economic consequence of Brexit, which could pose a menace to E14 and the UK housing markets. That's interest rate rises. Theoretically, this could see the cost of mortgages grow swiftly, pricing many out of the market and generally making life more difficult for buyers. However, most buyers take fixed rate mortgages and two thirds of landlords buy without even having a mortgage. So this could dampen the effects in the short term. It's also conceivable that inflation would ramp up substantially if the price of imports went up. And if the Bank of England responded by increasing interest rates, we might get into a situation we were in in the late 1980s, when mortgages were sky high, but inflation was eroding the debt. In reality, of course, if I really knew what was going to happen, I wouldn't be an estate agent in E14, but a city whiz kid, earning billions. But what I can say is that you should make your own decision on the 23rd of June, safe in the knowledge that whatever the result, there will always be threats, but also opportunities that the savvy home buyer can take advantage of. The key thing for those selling and renting is for their pricing to reflect the mood and tones of the market. I've tried to be fairly balanced in this video, but if you'd like to know what I really think about remaining or leaving in the EU, please feel free to email me or pop into the office. Thank you for watching. My email address is spencer at lmlondon.com and my further thoughts can be seen at docklandspropertyblog.com. More videos will follow soon.